Greetings, brethren of the Round Table, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. We last left off betraying our very weak ally, grabbing a little bit of land for ourselves, and finally taking the fight to the Livonians, who is now run by this small child. And you know what that means? Hey, where would his parent go? Where's your dad? He, why are you running things? Oh, you must have lost that war. Okay, so he's super weak. But I did get a question of I, why am I murdering, imprisoning and murdering off all of my sons? So basically, we need to t go into the realm tab a little bit more. So first off up here, what is tribe authority? What is authority? So basically, authority means how much are you in control of your realm versus your vassals. We don't have a lot of vassals, so this really doesn't apply too much but basically high, increasing the tribal authority means that your vassals give you more taxes and levies and also things when you get up higher that they can't fight each other for land it kind of keeps things more in control but when we go over to our succession as you can see whatever rep whatever land we have gets split amongst our sons so currently we are set to lose two titles this uh, this one right here, and then this one right here to our second son, which is why I'm killing them off. Now, you can let both sons go to adulthood and then uh, declare war on your brother when you become the new character, but that's kind of a messy thing. It involves wars. It's a lot cleaner and quicker just to get rid of them now. Now, a concern that has also been put up is what happens if your son dies? Well, good news for us is we have a daughter who is, ooh, you're a little sickly, uh, a daughter that can inherit. Our inherit laws is it's male preference, meaning that it goes to males, but if there are no males, then it goes to your oldest daughter. So that being this daughter right here, who already has a plethora of children, and let's just make sure to educate this child who is just wonderful. He's martial and stewardship with prowess. So let's actually train you in martial. I know that's kind of changing from what we have, but if we can get you in our court with a bunch... Oh, yes. Okay. So this is a really good person right here. Let's go ahead and train him. But you're kind of good too, and you're also a bladesmith. Ooh. Yeah, let's we'll train you with... Let's uh, educate you with that child. So that's why I'm destroying my children. Every wimp along the way is <laughs> just preventing them from basically inheriting tiles that I don't want them to have. So we do, we are increasing our our control, which is taking a long time. We do have two counties that we need to control, and, but we do have a sizable military force. We will have about, we'll have 1775 troops of decent quality. And can we get another champion? We can recruit this man to court. Uh, you have eight prowess. How much would it cost? 10 gold. We have a surplus of gold. Let's just spend that and get full up tonight. Now, one thing that is a little bit dangerous is our son is also a knight we can forbid him from serving but i want him to have a little bit of glory you're already gout red brother <laughs> i was just hyping you up about how you're gonna be good you got gout uh okay but uh we will focus in on our own counties for right now let's take the fight to this man because i don't believe i have a truce with you i do have a truce with you tell me about you you've got 975 troops you're only allied to your vassal what can we declare war for? We could subjugate you, which would strengthen us quite heavily in our domain and help us along the way of forming the Kingdom of Lithuania. So let's actually do that. Let's declare the subjugation war. Who, tell me about your one ally really quick. Oh, it was the, uh, it was your vassal. So let's, oh, we need more, we need more prestige. Tell me about just capturing a county. We can just do that. This capturing counties, conquering counties only costs piety. We have piety in spades. So let's go ahead and do this while we wait. And hopefully we'll get a little bit of prestige from this war. We're going to take any battles that we can to make sure that we get the prestige from it. We were going to absolutely slaughter this woman. Oh, keep going. Yes, we have so many more commanders. Yes, we're going to catch him here. That I'm not even concerned about this fight. As you can see, we have 18 commander advantage this guy's only got 14 and here's our troops up here we have nine champions to his five he's got very weak light footmen which is getting countered and he has about 100 archers to our 300 archers so we'll go ahead and let this play out and conquer this person down she's actually leading the battle which means we can actually capture her she actually got wounded from that as well let's take a look 
Yeah, she's wounded now, so she might actually die. So let's uh, let's go siege down her capital. Make them bring the fight to us. As they only have 600 troops left. Oh, actually, we're going right to them again for another glorious battle. Let's see if we can capture her this time. As they do have the, uh, the defensive advantage. And we are able to send them packing. So, great news for us. We won some quick battles. Not too much prestige from this. We need to start raiding again. And I thought I saw that you were in the midst of a civil war. You are no longer in that civil war. So, fighting that is going to... Raiding you is going to be a mistake. You are also incredibly strong. I'd really love to knock you down. But, unfortunately, that doesn't seem possible. So, six months left on this war until we conquer their capital. And that might be the end of it. We might have to do one more battle. And we have unlocked another stewardship. So... Let's go ahead and do toe the line. This is just for vassals to uh, less likely to join independence factions. Again, we don't have a lot of vassals. I'm really pushing up for tax levy contributions and then administrator, which is great because it gives diplomacy three stewardship and five vassal opinion. Alrighty, so unfortunately we did another battle there. Our count chancellor died. Fortunately, we have a champion over here who's got a ton of stewardship can we replace anybody else no you're good that's our son yeah we're perfectly fine Ooh, can we replace you we can with our daughter Ooh, that would actually be pretty good let's go ahead and do that goodbyes good sir our daughter is now in charge giving her a little bit more prestige and we'll go ahead and start sieging this down as well looks like he's coming in for one more battle this should be end it once we win this battle as we have the stark advantage oh we're getting called to war Tell me about you and your war. So, wait, who is our ally? You're the ally. We're allied to you. You are attacking this kingdom down here. You have about 500 troops. We will join that for the prestige. So let's go ahead and accept that. And as soon as this war is done here, we'll, we'll hop in, bring our troops over. We're going to need a little bit of time to rest and recuperate. As that didn't give us any war score. We must have maxed out our war score. You can max out your war score via fights. So we haven't actually count, captured the county that we need. That we're, we have the claim on. So this is taking a little bit longer here. And it looks like one more battle is in store for us. This is just kind of wasting our troops at this point. But he knows if he get, loses this county that he's going to lose the war. And we're actually losing war score right now. Because of the fact that we haven't been able to capture this county yet. All right, that's the end of the war there. And now we only have 714 troops. We are in friendly territory, so we are just going to sit here and ooh, build up troops a little bit. We are unfortunately getting raided as our armies are away. There's not a lot we can do about that, except for just kind of accept it, as there's a ton of raiders coming into us. That's been raided, yeah. That's okay. Ooh, you're attacking our raiders for us. That's lovely. All right, we've caught his army here. We have a... A pretty high advantage right now, so we should hopefully be able to win this. Get a little prestige from that. Yes, that was a lot of prestige. Uh, accusations of witchcraft. So basically, this woman's been accused of witchcraft. We have three options. We can get 300 stewardship lifestyle. This will give us 17 stress because we're vengeful. And also give upset peasants, which is minus uh, popular opinion. We could, get, we could kill her, give her satisfied peasants, 25 opinion plus, 100 piety. Or we could have her join our court. You have a lot of learning. Ooh, look at that. 25 learning. You're my new advisor. I don't care what anybody says. And, oh, darn it. We have to wait to put her in the court. But she's actually going to be really good for us. So we'll continue down this war right quickly. And also something that has come up is we now have a dynasty leg legacy available. So this is a bonus that goes to all of our family members. So what I typically like to go with is glory. Most of glory is kind of garbage up until you get to personal scheme power, assertive leader, and max sway scheme. So swaying is making someone like you more. And if you can do two of those at once, it helps stop a lot of rebellions. Also a good one is blood. It gives you more positive pass down traits. But for this one, because we are Viking, I'm going to go with House of the Warrior. It gives us two prowess to every character and plus 15 knight effectiveness. And there it is. The war is over. We get 75 fame based on our contributions. Wonderful news for us. Let's go ahead and pause this. We need to take down our army so they can finally start replenishing. We've also unlocked another stewardship. So honor to serve plus 20% tax levy and 
taxes and levy from our powerful vassals. Now with our abundance of prestige, I'm going to spend it right away and do the gathering halls. This will give us 100 levies plus 0.2 control a month, but more importantly, 0.25 prestige a month. If we can build a lot of these, we can just quickly ramp up our prestige, especially when we're small, they all matter. We have a grandson. Ooh, this is our player heir. So this is going to be our next player heir. Didn't you have a trait you were supposed to pass down? You had calmly. You were supposed to give it to my child. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. A grave day indeed. High Chieftain Nervat has crossed the door into the world of the spirits at 57 years of age. He died in his sleep. Oh. Chieftain Corgi has finally taken control. Excellent. He will rule us all and rule us all well. We need to hire a new steward because we were the steward. Let's go ahead and assign this man who kind of sucks, to be honest with you. And we'll choose the lifestyle of stewardship. And we will go with plus... Let's go with the... You know, the 10% income. We're not making a lot of income, so that's not really going to help us. I think just doing regular stewardship is going to help. Fortunately, he's going down the architect trait, which is the best trait for building. I very much believe in building tall which is, if you're unfamiliar with the concept, having smaller territories, but much more built up territories. Now, a great thing about this is our character starts with 330 prestige already. So let's go ahead and build, uh, we could build another war camp. I really like war camps. Let's go ahead and build another war camp here in this territory that we're going to hold. And we're working still on control down here. This is our, oh, our, our brother, since we did die and we didn't kill our brother, he's actually taken some land from us. Now, what we can do is we can't fight him because he's in, he's not, as he's not independent, he's under us. But we could execute him. But he's already in the dungeon and we're his heir. So there's no need for us to do that. We will get, we'll get Ken Slayer if we just execute him. So we'll just patiently wait for him to die and we'll re-get the lands that we lost along the way. As the new high chief of the Latigallians. We must prove our worth. And how best to prove our worth? Well, obviously by picking on the weak and the small. This man is in jail. He only has 148 troops. Let's go ahead and declare a war. Capture one of his counties. We have a lot of prestige to spare. He's not going to be able to put up too much of a fight because he's in jail. So let's go straight for his capital right now and start working our way over there. Now, oh, also, you do endorse us. Let's see if we have anybody that hates us. Why do you hate us so much? Oh, you hate us. Why do you hate us? Oh, it's hostile. It's a hostile faith. Okay. Well, we just have different faiths. That's not going to be much we could do there. Again, we don't have too many vassals we need to worry about. Our biggest vassal is in jail. He should hopefully die soon. So as soon as we get him, we'll get his land back. We are operating with less troops than we would because we did lose these lands down here. But that is perfectly fine. We'll be able to recapture these two counties. And potentially this county over here. This war looks like it's wrapping up. It is indeed. So we're going to fight our next war to capture this county right after this one. Just expanding our power and our strength. An additional payment in recent trade, I find myself in possession of a large herd of cattle. I've been assured that the animals are the highest quality, but the question of what should be done with them remains. Now, we could give a large cattle herd, which gives plus 10% development growth to the, to the chiefdom of Talvalia. But what we could do instead is we could get a large heart herd cattle... This is 10, this is 20% development, or we could just get 50 gold. Tavalia is not, oh, Tavalia is our capital. So let's actually do this. We have a 70%, 78% chance of being the large herd, and we, ah, we lost it. So we spent 35 prestige. That's unfortunate. But we're just about to wrap up the battle here. Congratulations, you've learned a language. And there we go. So this county is now ours as well. Let's disband our troops. And start hopefully getting some more control here quickly. This is finally starting to go up. This has been recently looted. So in 906, it'll lose this debuff. And we'll start to kind of move up from there. But we're going to turn one war into two. This man has 200 and troop, 200 some troops. Let's go ahead and conquer this county here. Raise the troops and rinse and repeat. So we've won the siege here. We've captured his brother. Yes, we've captured his brother. Unfortunately, they sieged down our capital. <gasps> Oh, but we seized an artifact. This is something we haven't really dived into. 
So artifacts are things you can acquire. You can also make them if you employ an antiquian, uh, or an antiquian, excuse me. But they all give little bonuses. So this scepter gives plus one learning and plus two prowess to our character. We can also put this on, which will give us plus three prowess, resistance injury, which is great, and a little bit of prestige. So that is very, very helpful. My treasury is brimming with gold and silver. All expenses are cared for. As a wealthy lord, I'm expected to offer patronage to some kind of artist or scholar. As luck would have it, three potential candidates have just arrived. But which one does impress me? We could spend 50 gold for an immaculate garden, which gives us plus one prestige. We could spend 50 gold for piety, or we could spend 50 gold for learning. Development growth, though. Let's go with the garden. Prestige is so important. That gives us that gets us up to 2.8. So that was very worthwhile. We're about to attack his army. Hopefully, we'll be able to kind of win the war here. We'll see. This is a small army, so it probably won't be worth too much war score. But it is, in fact, his entire war score. Who are you? Can I recruit you? I don't think I can. I can demand you convert. Yeah, because you already a landed man, I can't recruit you. So let's go ahead and force our demands. And now we have five out of five domain limit. So that worked out really well for us. We've captured this beautiful county and still working on control. Control is going to be the biggest factor for us, but we will have a lot of troops as soon as this is all done. And with only 78 prestige left, we're just going to have to kind of bide our time. Yeah, you're way too strong for us to take out right now. So we'll be patient here. Let's also check out the prisoners we do have. We have 12 prisoners. Are any of you, can I ransom any of you for any gold? I can get 50. That's my brother. I don't want to ransom him. I don't want to do just favors. Favors are useless. I can get 10 gold for you. Are you any? Oh, that's a, that's a woman. Yep, adios. You for 50 gold. You have a title. Oh, he's already considering, so we'll come back to him. And a favor. So let's speed this along. Wait for that ransom to go through. And then you'll ransom yourself out. Goodbye, sir, for 50 more gold. Never a dull moment. Our son has picked up his childhood trait. He is rowdy, which gives plus one to martial or intrigue. Intrigue, honestly, it's powerful. I'm just not the biggest fan of it. We'll have him be a martial focused character. And let's see who we can have educate this boy. Not us, as we have only four martial gift gout. Um, you're pretty good. You're a lot better, though. Tell me about your traits. You're chaste, which is not the word. Oh, wait. No, we have this great steward down here. He's got, he's a brilliant strategist. He's honest, eh, arrogant, eh, zealous, pretty good. Better than patient, yeah, let's go with you. My steward, educate this boy, make him smart in the ways of war. We've unlocked another stewardship trait. Let's go with defensive measures. We don't really need professional workforce right now. We don't have the prestige to get anything. We're honestly a little bit too small to go raiding right now. How many raiders can we raise? 1490, 19, not very good. We need these counties we've captured to get control, or at least to run out of the debuff that they have. 1906 here, you don't have the debuff. You have a debuff until 1905. Yeah, these ones are taking... Oh, did we just get control over one? Yes, we did. So let's move you up here into this other county. Start working on that. You are under my brother, so unfortunately until he dies, I don't get reap the benefits from that. Well, 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 my chancellor has worked hard to convince our neighboring realm and vassals that the peace treaty I entered with the high chieftain of Livonia is flawed, illegitimate, and unfair to me. I am once again free to declare war upon him. So our truce with you has ended. Well, 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 be a shame if somebody... Oh, wait, time out. Oh, let's go. Great news keeps on coming. So our brother has died, which means we now inherit his counties down here, which are all ones that we want. This does give us eight counties out of five, which is a shame because this debuff deranks your buildings and how many levels you can get from them. So we do need to start giving places away. So let's go ahead and start granting these to some people that we like. My nephew, I would like you to breed more. So let's actually give you this. We'll give you that title. Now you don't want to give everything to one person as that can become a little bit of... An interesting situation. You want to keep your vassals weaker than you. We could also give land to our player on an, or son and heir, but then we don't get to educate him. So I don't like that path as well. Let's give this to our marshal. And then we have one more. Down here, 
This is not one that I really care about. Let's give it to who's got good martial traits, our steward. Let's go ahead and give it to our, our steward and champion for educating our boy. Thank you so much. You're just rewards. And now let's declare war on you. And let's uh let's see which county you have is most valuable to you. That's two seven. It's one point nine, and that's point four. Okay. So this looks like the best one to grab, so let's go ahead and grab this one here. Move our troops up and capture the land. To war! Alright, we've captured his capital. Now we do have to fight this army. We are unfortunately getting raided by two players down here. Troth can marry. Hold up. Who's this? This is uh, my sister. Oh, you won't accept anymore. Oh, because they just got married on their own. Okay. We also have a dangerous faction rising. Tell me about this. The man I just gave money to is upset because you're a different religion. Ah, indeed. Okay. Let's see if we can convert you. He might accept. Let's ask for his conversion. That will eliminate a lot of problems. I just gave you a beautiful... He wants it for 50 gold. Yes, convert for 50 gold. Well spent. Now you're going to hate me less. We've taken out his army. I am going to go up here because these people are trying to raid everything that I'm trying to take. Culture class. Most of the commoners living in the chiefdom of Aluskin are Estonian descent. Proud of their traditions, it does not sit well with them that they serve a foreigner like myself. When my neighbor, High Chieftain Bursi... Shares their cultural and history. So we can... It's a stewardship challenge. We'll gain 100 stewardship experience. Uh, there's a 15% chance that they'll change to our culture. We can respect local uh, traditions, which gives plus 20 popular opinion, but promote culture speed goes down to 75. Or we can gain 150 prestige. Prestige is king. We want that. Our glory is widely known. Well, well, well. My wife is pregnant. I got an event asking if I want to investigate the true lineage of their child. It's not my child. The whole world must learn of your infidelity. She's now an adulterer. Let's go ahead and enforce demands. Disband our army. And let's go ahead and give this away to somebody who is going to like us. Let's make sure we give it to somebody of our religion as well. Could give it to our player, son, and heir. Still don't want to do that. You are young. And pretty good at prop at uh, Marshall, which will give us more troops out of the land. You'll be. Why don't you like me? You want a seat on the council? Well, I can't give that to you. And you're humble versus arrogant. Well, well, you'll learn to deal. How about that? And I've changed my mind. I'm going to build the war camp here just to increase the amount of troops we have. A number of knights. We are a very small country still. We only have 1,900 troops compared to our big neighbor over here, North Garage, who's got 2,400. So we need to keep pace with him, making sure to attack. What are you doing? You are independent. We have a claim on this too. That will cost us 63 prestige. But we could just counter it for 25. You don't have an ally, do you? No. Okay, that was a close call. This video is just us declaring war over and over again. Which is great. We're going to be able to link up our territories. Which will increase our name. And obviously the most important thing in a map game is how big is your name on the map? So we've captured a commander right away. You're terrible, though. Oh, you're terrible in everything. And can I switch out my... What happened to that old woman? Dang it. The one that had all the learning that we had. Ugh, oh, unfortunate. Also in good news, the culture is now converted. And all the... Oh, we need one more de jure. So let's go ahead and promote culture in the last territory we need it in. And then we'll have our de jure duchy all as our culture. All right, we've captured the chieftain. Let's go ahead and see if we can ransom him real quick for 50 gold. You will accept. We've also captured your wife. Let's see if we can ransom her off. We've captured a lot of people. You give us gold. Let's ransom you. Excellent. And do we have any more prisoners before we end this war that we can ransom off to you? 10 gold. Yes. Ooh, we'll get a little bit more gold from you here. Six gold, yes. And I think that's the end of your gold. Yes, it is. So with that, we'll go ahead and enforce the demands. Get 75 prestige and 75 fame. Now, fame is a little bit different from prestige. 
levels of fame give you different bonuses and as you can see we're currently distinguished which is the second biggest distinguished gives us plus one knight and three secular opinion which is the church so we worked out there let's go ahead and give you this because you like us and that will bring us to our domain limit once more and now that we have an abundance of prestige and we're making 4.5 let's go ahead and invest in light horsemen the reason for this is the light horsemen counter archers and archers is the most common thing we're coming against so let's go ahead and get a, a unit of those to be a little bit more effective we did also inherit another unit of bowmen from our son he created that independent of us so we got that one for free and i see our truce with you is up it'd be a shame if someone declared war on you let's go ahead and raise our troops send them in are you fighting someone already you're already fighting somebody so this is perfect your troops are going to be raised and in a position that we can capture them Get them there. Yes, capture them. Fight them. Yes. So our horsemen are doing well against their art. Oh, time out. We inherited the chiefdom. Somebody died. You know what? Can we just get you to help manage domain? Yes, that'll bring us up to six. So we don't have to worry about giving that one away right now. Oh, and we actually forgot half our army. I was about to say, we had more army, I thought. So, we'll bring down the other army to siege and bring on the capital. Oh, we died in battle. That's so unfortunate. Tell me about my commanders, my ch champions. You're terrible. We could... You know what we're going to do? Let's recruit a force specialist. No. 150 prestige. We'll just wait. We'll just wait. War declared. You are weak and I am strong. There's no other justification needed for me to come and take what I wish from you. You are very superior to me. You have 9,000 troops. Hopefully you don't want something too big. What are you, what are you, what are you after? You want that? How'd you get so big? Oh, you're Prussia now. Um, I think we're just going to surrender this. Because we don't have any allies. Can we get an alliance with you? Why are you sick? Don't be ill. Relevance, you have the lepers, you have the pox. Tell me about you. 1800, you're very, you're pretty far away. Um, Yeah, there's nothing we can do on this one. We could try, let's go ahead and surrender that one territory. It's not even ours. We will lose a little bit of prestige. And he'll gain the territory, but uh, much better than wasting our troops in a losing battle. And unfortunately, we have a second son. Because our first son is ill, I'm actually not going to throw this one in prison. We'll see how, if this one gets better, then we'll definitely do that. We do win the war, so let's go ahead and grab this county for ourselves. And give it to this man who still hates us. Why do you hate us? How about if I give you... This might be a mistake. We'll give him that, though. He likes us a little bit better now. And there we go. And that is where we are going to end things for today, greatly increasing the Litigalians strength and power projection in the region, forming what is potentially a new rivalry with the Prussians, as they are just incredibly strong. No way I could marry this daughter, you think, huh? With uh, my son? You will accept. Ooh, let's definitely do that. That will give us such a strong alliance. Oh, that's definitely what was needed. Great news for us. So that alliance will give us a lot of power projection and we'll be able to start finishing up the people around us and hopefully be able to create the imp the kingdom here soon. We do need 14 titles and we only have eight. So that will probably happen in the next episode. But as we start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you've made this far in the episode. If you have made this far in the episode, hey, give a thumbs up for the helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day, but boys, I will see you in the next one.